Okay, so now that you've actually created the spreadsheet and done the quiz, it's now time for you to actually research a car. So you can go to cars.com, which is here, and you can have a blast. I mean, you can really, you can really delve into this. You can research any kind of car you want, um, any make and model you want. You can, you know, research max price that you want to pay for it, um, and then you can actually look for cars and find a car. All right. So um, I'm just going to do this. I so I will do this for actually a Nissan Sentra, like I promised. So Nissan Sentra. Um, I want to be 30, uh, 30 miles of 10573. Search. All right. And um, I can show, I can view the inventory of the models in the area. So, okay, perfect. Um, I'll pick this one just to, just to kind of show you what's happening. In fact, what's pretty cool is you can actually, you know, estimate payments. You can actually see if our calculation does the same thing as their calculation. And so here's my Nissan Sentra. Okay, great. It's the Nissan Sentra SR. You can read all about it. Have a blast. Um, so, all right, there's my car. So I'm actually going to determine the tax tags and title estimate for this car using uh, CarMax's calculator, which is very nice. So in this case, I'm buying a car in New York. And I am, I don't know, what was the car price? This car, 24000 so I'll select um, the range of 22 to 25, calculate, all right? And I would take the high end of this, um, 2425. That would be my, um, my budgeted amount for tax tags and title. Um, so that would, and that would go right into your spreadsheet under tax tags and title. Um, you're then going to ask me for a value of money that you've already saved up for your car. So you're going to ask me, kind of like how I gave you the APR in the credit cards lesson, I'm going to give you an amount that you can that you actually have to play with to put down. Um, you're going to determine the amount of money you will have to borrow to purchase the car. So um, that will basically, now that you built the spreadsheet, you'll be able to put down, uh, you'll be able to figure out what your down payment is and then what your amount of your loan has to be. Um, then you're going to choose whether or not you'll get a 48-month, a 60-month, or a 72-month car loan. Remember that the more months you choose, the lower your payment will be, but the more interest you actually pay over the life of the loan, you would have seen that in the quiz that we took. All right. Depending on whether or not the car is new or used, you're going to determine an APR for your loan. Actually, I should put a, I should also put 36 months in here. Um, and also I should put, remember that a used car loan has a 36 month loan period. That's unless you can find a, a higher um, number of years, but generally you don't. Um, so depending on whether or not the car is new or used, determine your APR using the bankrate.com um, website, which I'll quickly show you, even though we saw it already. Um, so you can actually see your three month trends. Here are your car rates that you can use. And you would actually, in real life, you would be able to shop around for these, but you need to have a credit score and you need to be able to put that information in, so I'm sort of limiting you in that regard. Um, so you're going to determine your monthly payment for the loan, which if you put everything in your spreadsheet, it should work. You're filling out the amortization table using your numbers acquired, which again, if you filled out your spreadsheet before, it should do that automatically. Then we're using the site fueleconomy.gov. And you're actually going to get your fuel economy. So I'm going to actually find a car. All right, find a car. So I will go with the, what was this, a 2015 to 2015. This was a Nissan Sentra. All right, go. And you can actually see it gives you the gas mileage, city and highway. And it gives you an estimation for um, your fuel cost per year. So it says about $1,000 or $1,100 a year, depending on um, whether you have an automatic or you have a manual. Um, we'll go with 1000 And then that actually will go into um, this spreadsheet here. So this I will show you. So my fuel costs, I'm going to take my $1,000 and divide by 12. All right. Whoops. Doesn't want me to have the dollar sign in there. There's my fuel cost for the year. My car payment, and we have not actually done this before, but 
um, within the same sheet, uh, sorry, within the same spreadsheet file, you can actually retrieve a value in another cell on another sheet. So let me show you. This is going to equal all my car payments. My car payment was here. So I can just type that in, equals that, press enter, and it brings over the 426.12 automatically. And it actually shows you the formula. It, it puts the sheet name in, in, in single quotes with an exclamation point and then gives you the cell. But it does it automatically. Insurance. You're actually going to get two quotes, so I'll show you how to get one. Um, so, so this is called carinsurance.com, and we should be able to compare quotes. So... So here's, here's carinsurance.com, and if you look right here, so you see how much you can save. We can type in our zip code. We can put the age in. Um, assume you're not currently insured. You're not a homeowner, and you're not married. And you can hit go. All right. And then it'll give you some companies that you can actually use to get um, car insurance. And then you can walk through these, um, these sites and actually get a quote. Um, you can also go to geico.com. You can actually look up car insurance companies if you want on the web and get quotes. Um, let me know if you have any difficulty getting quotes. Um, so let's just say at the end um, your car insurance was 170 a month. Whoops. Just for argument's sake, after you find your quotes. And last but not least, um, you need you need to have a little bit of money in there for maintenance and repairs. Um, for example, I have a car. It's got 127,000 miles on it. I know it needs new struts, which is going to run me about seven or eight hundred bucks. I have to kind of budget that in my in my monthly expenses, or at least think about it um, over the long haul. Um, we're going to use an estimate of forty forty dollars per month per month for cars that are three years old or less, and eighty dollars per month for cars that are more than three years old. That's a good estimate. So I have forty dollars. So for this particular car, I can add up these numbers. And it's going to cost me about $719 a month by the time I include fuel, insurance, maintenance, and my car payment. So you're going to figure out that total cost for your car. All right, thanks, guys.